Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello, Katie Patrick. I received your posting in our forum uh, regarding your dental practice. And I decided to go ahead and make this video for you and uh, show you what you could do in your QuickBooks. So as you can see, we are in the chart of accounts right over here. And what I went ahead and did for you is I created two accounts, insurance payments and patient payments under income. Okay, so for chart of accounts, this is what we're going to do over here. And I'm going to show you what to do next. All right, so now we are at the item list. And the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is create a new item. And right now we're going to go ahead and make the main category. So under service, we're going to go ahead and type in patients, income, or you can call it whatever you want, but this is for patients. Or we can just call that patients. And over here, under descriptions, patients, income. And under chart of accounts, this is going to go under patients. So I'm going to hit OK. And now we have this over here. And I'm going to go back to item. I'm going to hit new, service. Now I'm going to make the subcategory. And this is where you could do office one. And sub item of patients. So you could do patients, office one. And once again, everything is under patients for account. This is your chart of account. Hit OK. Do it again. Service. And we are going to call this Office 2 under patients. Give it a little description. Patients Office 2. And back to patients right here. And there you go. So now we've categorize and subcategorize for patients. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for insurance income. So we're just going to do this insurance insurance payments. And under this account is that's right, you've guessed it, it's insurance under income instead of patient. So we're going to hit okay. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do new. We're going to subcategorize it for Office 1 under. It is under insurance payments. So insurance Office 1. And over here is insurance as well. And we're going to do one more for Office 2 under insurance. Give it a description. Insurance Office 2. And we have just set up your chart of accounts and your item list. So let's go and see how this looks like on a sales receipt. All right, so we are here now at a uh, sales receipt. And we'll just go ahead and just use an example over here, customer three. And really the main thing that I want to show you is when you come over here to item, okay, when you come over here to item, this is where you get to basically choose insurance, office one, office two, or patients, office one, and office two. So this is how you determine how the money came in. And once you record it this way, uh, then you can basically go ahead and do reports uh, from the item list so let me go ahead and show you how to pull up the reports so we are back under item list and basically what you can do is either go under subcategory or main category and basically you're gonna right click and you're gonna do a quick report and under quick report obviously it's blank right now but you can basically set date criteria and pretty much different all sorts of criteria so that's how you set up the income portion of it and I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do on the expense side of it. Alright, 
For expenses, it's a little bit more cut and dry. It's pretty much what you see over here where it says tours expense and then you see tours vendor one, tours vendor two. You can pretty much do it the same way where you could do under rent for example or whatever category you want. Uh, you could go ahead and do new and you're gonna do an expense and you pretty much got it to where you would do office one of rent save a new office two sub account of rent and there you have it so you have rent you have office one and office two and if you still want to do another subcategory under rent for example uh, you can do as many many subcategories as you want so let's say what you could do is you could have a subcategory for let's say even a storage space rent storage rent rental and that could go under rent so there you go you have three subcategories under rent one is for office one office two and storage you can pretty much on the expenses do however you want uh, but once you create subcategories, uh, don't post up any expenses under the main category. You only do the main when it's on its own, just like these up here. But when you have subcategories, you got to use the subcategories. If you want to do something that's not one of these, then you just go ahead and create a fourth subcategory and so on. And that's pretty much it. I hope this answers your question. and. Uh, clarifies everything if you have uh, any more further questions uh, feel free to post a reply back in the forum all right well thanks for visiting learnquickbooksfree.com and mega niche university we have lots of other cool tutorials coming up as well and lots of other cool stuff coming your way so i will uh, see you guys later enjoy And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.